Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Sophie. Today we're going to be doing a fall glam look. I know my ideas are so original. We're going to be dipping into the Blood Sugar Palette by Jeffree Star. And the first shade is going to be Cherry Soda. I'm taking more of a packing brush and putting that right into the crease. I like to really pack on that color and then sort of blend out the edges. So next we're going to be going into Extraction. Same brush. And packing it on the outer third of the eye. And into that crease again, but lower. Next I'm taking the shade Cake Mix as a nice transition shade to blend it in to the brow. Just making sure the blend is really soft and gradual. Pretty much just using a fluffy blending brush. And then next we're going to be cutting the crease. I'm just using my Born This Way concealer from Too Faced. Now this may look difficult, but I just recommend to practice. All right, taking my finger and smudging out the edges of that concealer so it all blends nicely. Looking good. All right, I'm going to go into the Soft Glam palette and take this bronzy gold shade. I'm gonna pack that right in the center of the lid where I laid down that concealer. I love how soft the Anastasia metallic shimmers are. Then I like to take a flat brush and pack it close to the edge of that um, cut crease because especially with long nails it's hard to get it in there. Next I'm just going in with my same packing brush and blending out the edges and again with my fluffy brush. Alright I'm taking an orange single shadow from ColourPop. I believe it's called Two Birds. And I'm going to put that in the inner part of the cut crease. Alrighty, going in with the Huda Beauty melted metal matte shimmer stick thing. Um, yeah, we're going in with the shimmer side and I'm laying it over the top of that orange. Just to give it some dimension, shimmer and shine, a little sparkle. So pretty. 
Alrighty, next I took the black shade from the Soft Glam palette and I'm just putting this along my lash line so that when we add lashes, everything is seamless. Alrighty, going in with my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. And the Lancome Tanti Dole Foundation. I'm sorry about all the focus problems in this video. I had a lot of issues, okay? Now I'm just taking my Juno sponge and blending that all in. Added a little bit of the Born This Way concealer to really brighten up under the eyes and get that full coverage. And I like just taking a clean finger and kind of blending in the edges of the concealer and the eyeshadow so it's not super harsh. Alrighty, going in with my Maybelline setting powder and a dry beauty blender and just packing that where I put that wet concealer. And then we're gonna go in with the Maybelline Loose Setting Powder. And we're gonna dust this on the rest of our face. Contour as always with our Anastasia Contour Palette. And bronze up with the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. And some blush. Going in with the Anastasia Brow Pomade in the color Ebony. And because the eyes are more, more bold, we're gonna go in with a more natural fluffy brow. And then the dip brow gel. Alrighty, what do we have next? What do we have next? Ooh, going in with that orange shade again from ColourPop. And we're gonna pack that underneath the lower lash line. All right, I also took some of the red shade from the Blood Sugar palette and smoked that underneath my lashes. So after I perfected that blend, I'm going in with just a black eyeliner, pencil, filling in the waterline and the upper lash line, and then my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. Alrighty, so we're gonna go in with some individual lashes. These are from Kiss. They're like $5 from Walgreens. They're literally the best things ever. And I like to pop a 
chunk on the outside, another long chunk in the middle, and then a short chunk or two in the inner corners. This once again just takes time and practice. They are a little finicky to begin with, but you'll get the hang of it after a while. And then of course you can blend them in with some more mascara. I just really don't like strip lashes. They're not comfortable for me all day. And they just look so fake. Ooh, girl, that highlight. We're going in with some King Loose Highlight from Kylie. I love this stuff. And it was like limited edition, so I rarely use it. Adding some underneath the brow as well. Alrighty, what lip do we want to do? What lip should we do? A nude one, like always. Alright, I'm going in with the lip liner Hazel from Kylie. And then I'm gonna add just a little bit of a deeper brown liner called Lucky from Urban Decay. And lastly, filling in the lips with Kimberly. This was a collab with Kylie as well. What's your go-to nude lip? I really want recommendations, so comment down below. Alrighty, and then I'm taking the Cream Contour Kit by Anastasia and filling in my beauty mark. This just lasts all day and doesn't smudge, and I love it. And I got up to fix my hair, and we're back! OMG, a ponytail! Talent, right there. But anyways, I hope you guys like this autumn leaves inspired fall glam. I think it's really cute and you know it's a little bit more fun than just a basic like smoky eye for fall so i'll see you all next time bye